All right, everybody, it's Mike at WestEndMotorsports.com. Here to give you a, a basic idea or a guide of the things that you want to consider when you're buying an exhaust. Uh, we were going to do a video where I just sat in front of the camera and did this, but that's pretty boring and nobody really wants to look at me, so figured we'll try to change it up a little bit, make it a little different. We got a, a 60 degree a 60 degree day here in Easter, Pennsylvania. And it's not even February 20th, so uh, we're going to use it to our advantage. So we're out we're riding on our 2017 Street Glide. Right now we have a set of Vans and Hines, twitch slash slip-ons, uh, four inch, and uh, and they sound pretty good. We're pretty happy with them. This is definitely Vans and Hines' least expensive muffler. So if you want to go with a brand uh, and you know Vans and Hines, and it's a it's a good way for you to go uh, without breaking the bank, but. What we really want to do here is kind of explain the five most important things to consider when you're picking your set of slip-ons. You know, if you've already heard something and you have your mind made up, then that's one thing. But if you're not really sure, because the options are limitless, uh, especially if you've got any kind of Harley-Davidson touring model. But even if you don't, you know, it's this is still a pretty good guide for you to get an idea of uh, the things that you should consider when you're looking into buying an exhaust. So the number one thing is price. If you have a budget, there's nothing uh, there's nothing to matter with that. Uh, that's perfectly fine. But decide what it's going to be, more or less, because that's going to ultimately dictate how many uh, different exhausts you can really look at altogether. You know, so if you have a $500 limit, which is uh, which is a fair limit, you could do you know get a, you have a good amount of options for 500 bucks or or thereabout. You can really come up with. Uh, some good options but you just need to define it ahead of time and, and get an idea of your head okay you know I'll spend between five and seven hundred three and five hundred whatever it is because you're automatically going to start to make a, a big deduction and, and knock off a huge chunk of exhaust that way and then the second thing to consider is uh, is brand so you know a along with the brand comes a lot of other things but you know the main thing that you're going to get is quality and customer support okay so brand and quality go directly together there are certain brands that we work with that are probably really big name brands that on average I do more warranties for than others uh, not naming any names here but if you really want to figure it out I'm sure you can so <clears throat> I would definitely recommend doing your research asking us the questions you know what's it like to deal with a warranty if I happen to have one after the sale you're not spending 10, 15, 50 dollars here. You're spending a couple of hundred bucks. So, and, and you're probably going to have these exhausts for for a year or more. You know what I mean? You're going to have them for a while. So, you want to know when you're going into it that your money's uh, secure and that you're backed up. If anything does happen, which happens, every manufacturer has some kind of defect at some point um, here and there. It's just a, a question of how often and, and how they handle it, right? So, you know, that's definitely really important you want to know which brands are the best to work with for a warranty and stuff uh, give us a call and, and you know you could always talk to me directly talk to Wiley uh, we're always happy to give you our honest opinions on which brands are the easiest to work with and which brands are going to take your uh, your purchase and and your you being a customer into consideration the most so that's important number three performance uh, when we're talking about just slip-ons like on this 2017 model, performance isn't going to be enormous. Although the, the early numbers coming in so far have been pretty impressive for just a slip-on. But, you know, as we get into full exhausts, two into ones, this and that, you know, it's uh, and you start changing things around, then performance becomes, uh, you know, an, an important factor. Now, for some of you, performance isn't going to be a factor at all, you know, uh, but for others, it will be. So you want to keep that in mind. And always think about um, uh, the performance aspects. Everybody out there is going to tell you that their pipe performs the best. There's no two ways around it. Don't listen to them. Do your own homework. Ask us the questions. We're always happy to give you a feedback. A lot of times we're splitting hairs here, and the performance differences are not absolutely enormous. You know, they're pretty minuscule. So, um, you know, if performance comes into the next step which is number four which is looks and you say okay well this is the absolute best performing pipe I've ever seen or best performing pipe we have on the market but it looks like garbage well 
you know, don't do it, you know, or if it's the absolute best performing pipe and you like the way it looks, then I mean, that's a really good option for you. So, you know, you want to consider that. And, and these things are not necessarily in order of importance. They're just uh, the five things that you got to consider depending on, on what's most important to you. And it, it varies customer by customer. So the, the, the fourth thing that we were coming into was style. Style is, is absolutely critical. Uh, you don't want to buy a set of exhausts just because your buddy told you and then you hate the way they look. You know, you, you want to buy an exhaust that you're going to be happy with. And, and something we always tell you is that we're not looking at your bike. So don't ask me what's the best looking pipe out there. Look at them for yourself. And, you know, I'm happy to give you hints and say, hey, you know, this looks better in person or whatever. But, um, you know, a lot of the time I can't decide what's going to look look good on your bike I can't decide what you're gonna think is gonna look good so you, you really you, you gotta sometimes dig a little bit deeper there and and, uh, and look around and, and decide which exhaust is the best looking in your opinion um, or the, the couple of exhausts that you think are really good looking and then make the other factors kind of dwindle it down or narrow it down for you to, to pick your ultimate option and then number five sound well you know, this is obviously the most important thing. You're putting exhaust on principally for, for sound. That's the main reason that we're changing exhaust, to get rid of that stock sound, the sewing machine, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it doesn't matter what bike you, you buy. If you're buying a new bike, any time from 2000 on, uh, the stock exhaust is lame. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. But that's, uh, that's what we're here for, and I'm glad they're all lame, because that means you got to buy pipes from us. So, um, Sound is another thing that's incredibly subjective, just like appearance. You know, there are pipes out there where people tell me they think they sound great, and I've heard them in person, and I could not disagree more. Uh, you know, we get to hear a lot of exhausts, this and that, and uh, and honestly, you know, there are some brands that have consistencies between all of their exhaust no matter what bike it's going on you know the the cleanness of the sound a lot of that stuff comes down to construction so sound is a really important consideration and it's probably the hardest because how do you hear it you know we, we're doing our best here on this 2017 to get out there and put every single set of slip-ons we can and we're ultimately going to end up combining them with uh with headers and all that stuff just to give you your options so that you know but at the end of the day, I mean, you're not hearing this stuff in person. You know, you're, you're only hearing this stuff uh, on a computer screen. I, I will tell you that when you watch our review and sound check videos, you're getting a pretty good quality of sound. We're using a much better microphone there. It's high def. And so uh, you're going to get a pretty good idea for the sound. And you can actually, if you pay really close attention between all of them and do a comparison, you can hear the fine differences that we're hearing in person. It's sort of... Uh, magnified in person <clears throat> but the idea is there and you can get a really you could tell which pipes are the clean sounding ones and which ones aren't in those videos so that's that's really important you can tell which ones are kind of tinny which ones aren't and stuff like that so uh, do the best you can there that being said when it comes to sound uh, I am a big believer in go with what you know okay and I mean that's true for a lot of different things but if you had a previous touring model in this case, or if you had another bike and you had a set of pipes on there that you were really fond of, uh, go with them, get them again. If you were happy the first time, you're gonna be happy the second time, for the most part. There aren't a whole lot of brands in this industry that have really sorta of fallen off the wagon. There's one that comes to mind, but it's uh, you're not gonna see any of their pipes in any of our videos because they're junk and we don't sell them. So, uh, but other than that, if you've had Vance and Heinz in the past, if you've had Rush exhaust in the past, if you've had Pisani exhaust, Cobra, whatever it is, and you like the way it sounded, go for it again. You're not going to be disappointed. You know, you start tweaking around. Well, my buddy said these sound good, or my buddy said that sounds good. Well, that's great, but you're not there. If you didn't hear it, what do you care about somebody's recommendation? So, it's all about your ear. Again, it's subjective. So, if you heard something and you like the way it sounded get it okay and uh and obviously your budget's going to come back in and factor and the quality is going to come back in and factor well I, this sounded really good but these guys don't stand behind their product you know so that's where you kind of come full circle here um and uh and, and got to consider everyone and and uh the the weight of of each 
uh, factor is going to vary it person to person, but that's about where you're at. So, come on, buddy. This guy's going to hit us. That's our stop sign. Thank you. So, that's pretty much it, guys. That's, that's the five things you need to consider when buying an aftermarket exhaust. Uh, it's kind of based on a Harley Touring model just because that's the most popular bike that we put pipes on. But but all those things are true to anybody. So if you, if you need help figuring out what those things are uh, for every different exhaust out there, for, for any kind of model of bike, by all means, give us a call. We're always happy to spend a time, whether it's, you know, 10 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour. It's not uncommon for us to do that with our customers and, uh, and get them the right pipe because it is really important for us to get you guys the right exhaust the first time. Uh, getting a wrong exhaust gives you a really bad experience and a really bad impression of the way uh, we do business and, and working with us. So I'd much rather take the extra time, get the right exhaust for you individually, than sell you something the last guy wanted and have you disappointed. So it's really important. So give us a call, 1-800-520-8525. You can always send us an email too, info at westendmotorsports.com. That is our little ride and uh, ride and review clip here. So uh, again, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.